Hello and happy Friday. I hope you guys are doing well and had a wonderful week and had some great holidays, both Christmas and New Year's. Welcome back to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and today is Fluke Fridays episode number 82. What we're going to go about to go over today is multi a multimeter and a clamp meter with remote displays, meaning you can actually remove the display from the unit. Um, I don't know why I haven't done a video on these yet, but I thought about it this morning and I thought, you know, this would be a cool video to do. Uh, there's some kind of unique applications and uh, we'll talk through it. So that's pretty cool. Well, one thing I will say is these are not new. Uh, that's one reason I probably haven't done a video on them yet is these have been out for, gosh, the 233 has probably been out for 10 years plus at this point. And the 381's probably been out seven or eight years. So they're not new, but they have some unique applications and they have some watch you out. So I'm going to try to prepare you for if you do decide that this is a good tool for you, how to get the most out of it and not um, trip any booby traps that there might be. Okay, so if we look at these two side by side, you can see these are, um, they're both a little bit bigger than their counterparts. The, the like, this 233 would be very similar operation to like a 179 or a 170 series. And you can see it's a little thicker than those um, because it's got to have more area for batteries and different things. Now, how does it work? You got three batteries. In the 233, you got three AA batteries back here under the battery cover. And then you have two batteries um, in the remote display. So the advantage of this is, right, you can be in two places at once. Right, so if you are working on a car and you have this hooked up somewhere and then you're going to step on the brakes or your trailer lights and you're going to step on the brakes and you want to see if you get voltage to that source, you can do this as a one person job. In an industrial application, there's a lot of cool applications when it comes to safety, right? So you hook this up in one location and then you go over to either a PLC or some kind of control panel, start flipping switches, touching buttons, and seeing what turns on or what doesn't, and you don't have to be in that dangerous zone. So it can remove you from that arc flash area. So it gives you the ability to be in two places at once without having that Fluke Connect app on your phone, which a lot of people like that. Um, and there's a lot of facilities that don't allow you to have a smartphone on the floor or have the smartphone open on the floor. If that's the case, maybe something like this could be a good solution for you. Okay, so the first one to come out was the 233, and the second one was the 381, the clamp meter. Let me see if I can, I'll, I'll show you a 378 next to the 381, kind of show you the difference in size. So you can see how much thicker this one is. Um, so it's a lot bigger in your hand, less maybe ergonomic, but it's, it's got that cool feature where you can take these off. And you can start them even when they're off the, off the docking area. So that's kind of cool. And with both of these, they actually have magnets in the back of them. So you can stick them to a panel or stick them to a piece of metal in front of you. And we'll show you that real quick. So with the, these magnets, you can see, we can just stick them right there. Um, and they're very responsive. If I if I change this over here, you can see it changing in the background there to the different units. Okay. Same thing with this one. And uh, so some pretty cool application uh, being in two places at once. Now, where do where are the hiccups? Now the 381, well, let me start with the 233. The 233 is notorious for eating batteries. If you're gonna use the 233, you like this multimeter, you like this form factor, a lot of customers, what they'll do is they'll pull the batteries out or at least one battery out of the head and one battery out of the, the, um, the main unit and put them in their toolbox next to their unit. Otherwise, if you leave it in there for several weeks, even with it off and it docked, there's a good chance you're gonna come back with either no batteries or very, very low batteries. So to get the most out of your 233, if you're not using it every day, um, if it's one of those tools you pick up and you use and then you might not use it for a few weeks, always take at least one battery out of both and that's gonna 
give you a better user experience so you're not turning it on and oh shoot the battery's dead and then you got to go find a battery okay so that's really good you can also do that with the 381 with the 381 i don't see as much problem with the batteries uh they do last longer but if you are using the 381 only like once a month or something then maybe it is something you want to go ahead and pull batteries out of uh, both the mainframe and the the display unit but if you do those things uh people there are customers that are huge followers of this they love these products and then there are customers that hate them because they run through batteries too much. So it really depends on your application and if you know that going into it, I think you're gonna be uh, a more informed customer and you're gonna decide whether you're willing to put up with the potential um, needing to replace batteries or pull batteries out every time you use it or before and after you use it or if it's one of those things that you don't mind replacing batteries and the remote display is really what you need and you understand that to begin with. So I hope this helps. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Also, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've seen more than three of these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, it really helps the channel and it costs you nothing. Um, and yeah, get this message out to more folks. Thanks and have a great one.